On August 21st, darkness will wash over America. But in a good way, we promise. It's a total solar eclipse, the first to hit the U.S. mainland in almost four decades. The shadow will cut a path 70 miles wide, beginning in Oregon at about 10 a.m. local time. From there, it'll move into Idaho and Wyoming, then pass through the Midwest before leaving the U.S. through South Carolina at 2.45 Eastern. The total eclipse will only last a few minutes in a given spot, but if you happen to have a jet, like NASA does, you can race the shadow. In the name of science, NASA will be able to observe the eclipse for seven minutes. The best the rest of us schlubs can manage is driving to the eclipse's path. But be forewarned, a lot of people are going to have the same idea. 12 million people already live in the path of the eclipse, but as many as 7 million will make the trek to these areas. Even if you can't make it to see the totality, you'll be treated to a partial solar eclipse. The closer you are to the path, the more complete the eclipse will be. At work here is a supreme astronomical coincidence. The moon is, of course, much, much smaller than the sun. But because it's so much closer, the two bodies actually appear to us observers on Earth as the same size. So when the moon passes in front of the sun, it perfectly obscures the star. What's important to remember is that while you can look at a total solar eclipse without burning your eyes out of your head, to watch a partial eclipse, you're going to need special glasses. These use a thin layer of aluminum or silver to block the nasty energy coming off the sun. You can get these any number of places online. Don't you dare try watching without them. <gasps> After all, if you want to watch the next solar eclipse that'll hit the US in 2024, you're going to need to see it. Or if you've been planning a South American getaway, do it in 2019 for their next totality. Just don't forget your shades. <laughs>